Earl, let's bring you live now to g Trans Satellite Launch Center in Gobi launch. Desert. The first crew crewed mission destined for Tiangong China Space Station Mark on board the Shenzhou 12 spacecraft. 20 seconds, less than 20 seconds to go. And the Shenzhou 12 will be uh, near Haishun's third space out. That's right. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ignition. And liftoff. Lift off. Just spectacular. The launch of Shenzhou 12 spacecraft heading to the Chinese space station. The divine vessel shipping away from its space It's the first crewed mission to its new space station, Tengong, or Heavenly Palace. Also its first manned space flight in five years. of China space station. And of course... You're live pictures out of Ju Chuan Satellite Launch Center in Gobi Desert. There, China's uh, Shenzhou 12 launched from the pad just now. Uh, three astronauts on board that uh, spaceship will live on Tianhe for three months. A core module uh, that was launched into space earlier. Uh, this is, of course, a third of 11 missions planned for the space station project. Uh, they're all part of the country's ambitious space plans coming ahead of the uh, Chinese Communist Party's 100th anniversary celebrations. Yeah, we can have the clear visual of the rockets coming, the launching off to the, into the sky. And right. The astronauts, they look fine to me. They look okay. Yeah. And keep in mind, the, the China space station is called Tiangong. It, it translates into Heavenly Palace in Chinese. It's expected to be fully operational by 2022 and last for at least 15 years. The crew will be living on Tianhe, or Harmony of the Heavens, a core module launched this April. They'll be spending three months there conducting spacewalks, maintenance work, and other experiments. The 56-year-old commander, Nie Haisheng, will be leading the group. It will be his third mission to space. Uh, Mr. Nie will also uh, set a record as China's oldest astronaut in space. He'll be joined by 54-year-old Liu Boming. This will be his second mission. And rounding off, uh, the crew will be 45-year-old Tan Hongbo, who is on his maiden space voyage. Construction of China's space station began in April with the launch of Tianhe, the first and largest of three modules. It'll be Tang Hongbo's first space outing. Chinese astronauts have had a comparatively low international profile. U.S. legislation bars NASA from any cooperation with China, and Chinese astronauts have not been to the more than two-decade-old International Space Station. The ISS may be decommissioned in 2024 if the project does not receive new funding, and China could end up being the operator of the only space station in Earth's orbits.